the Millionaire's Factory, also known as the Silver Donut. Mmm, forbidden donut. Today, we're doing a home loan review on Macquarie. We're gonna look at the good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah, and I'll how their home loans compare. You're gonna find out in today's video. Let's dive right in. So Macquarie Bank used to be known just as an investment only bank in Australia up until the last couple of years where they've turned more into a retail bank where they're offering home loans, credit cards, and even just day-to-day -day accounts for general consumers like us. So how do their home loans compare? So now we're gonna go through the three things they're really good at. But before we do that, please remember to like and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Looking at the first thing Macquarie are really good at, they have really good flexible loan options. Yeah, you know, barefoot investor fans need to line up and check out Macquarie. They've got some pretty cool features. If you do a basic home loan, you can have six different accounts. So you can have your splurge, your mojo, all that stuff on a basic home loan that has no annual fees. Also, if you're a fan of an offset account, they'll let you have up to 10 different offset splits. So you can go ham on your fire drill and all those different accounts because Macquarie have got you covered. It's all covered under their annual package fee as well, which is pretty exciting. So unlike other banks where you can have only one offset for one loan, Macquarie actually let up to 10 offset accounts on the one loan, which is really neat and have also invested heavily in their online platform. So it's super easy to use them through your mobile phone. Yeah, the thing I like about the offset account thing that Macquarie do quite well is if Nathan and I have a home loan, I can link an account that's just in my name to our loan as an offset, or we can have a joint account in our names against the loan. The second thing Macquarie are good at is if you have a large deposit. So Jaden, what does this one actually look like? Yeah, first home buyers might need to steer clear of Macquarie Bank, unless you've got a 20% deposit, which isn't a lot of people, but Macquarie are great if you've got a big deposit and like I'm gonna come back to the bad stuff. So we're not gonna focus on that now, we're gonna focus on the good. So they're really good if you've got your 20% deposit or if you're looking at refinancing, they've got a bunch of really flexible policies. If you've got a business, they'll kind of forget about debts in the business as long as it makes sense and you can service itself. They'll let you do cash out, which just means you can pull money out of your, pro your property without having to ask too many questions while the banks kind of make you jump through hoops. So they've got a couple of really interesting niches there that are pretty handy if you had your property a couple of years and you're looking at refinancing. But like I said, Nate, small deposit, not for Macquarie. So adding to that, once again, if you have a 20% deposit or greater, they're gonna be far more flexible with income. That goes for casual, less than three months. They're more willing to accept your income if they can see consistency in previous roles and earning similar income in the new role. Entirely right, Nate. They'll accept 100% of overtime if you're an essential services worker, where a lot of other banks, look at some of our other reviews, will only accept 60%. So it's a pretty good niche, again, if you've got a reasonable deposit. And the third thing Macquarie excel at is they're super fast at getting loan approvals. Yeah, a few years ago, Macquarie completely overhauled their core banking platform. This is the thing that banks work on. And unlike a lot of the major banks that are literally still running on like those DOS green screens with the text and the black background, Macquarie have got some whiz bang new system. So it just means a lot of the process is automated. So instead of files being physically handed to different departments in the bank, which is sometimes the case with some of these other lenders, Macquarie do it all automated. They'll use your credit report. They'll check out your existing debts and stuff actually using your credit report. They don't even ask for statements if you're refinancing a loan. It's pretty crazy. And as a result, it means the turnaround times are outrageously quick. I'm not talking days, I'm talking hours. It's amazing. So to add to that, unlike other lenders where they'll wanna see three month statements and they'll go through every transaction and ask questions, Macquarie actually go through your comprehensive credit report. If that's all clean, they don't ask any questions or wanna see bank statements. Just forget about it. So they're the three things Macquarie are great at. Now we're gonna look at the three things they're not so good at. Jaden, you talked about it before, they're not the bank for first homeowners. Why is that? Yeah, so if you have a small deposit, less than 20%, Macquarie's rates shoot up. If you've got a bigger deposit, if you've got a 30% deposit, the rates get cheaper and cheaper. It's amazing. They really want people with big deposits. But if you're a first home buyer, which invariably means someone with less than a 20% deposit, the rates are just horribly uncompetitive. Yeah, so they look at you much harsher. If you hadn't had good employment, good history, and good deposit, you probably should avoid Macquarie Bank. They also don't validate pre-approval. So what that means is if you get a pre-approval from Macquarie, they're worthless. They're not worth the paper they're written on. It's a coffee shop pre-approval. Computer says yes, off you go. No one actually looks at the file. I see nothing, I know nothing. The second thing they're not so good at is construction lending. Jane, why is this the case? Yeah, so construction loans are pretty 
taxing and labor intensive only because once you start the construction, someone needs to pay the builder. And generally there's five or six different rounds of progress payments where once the builder puts a slab down, they ask the bank for money, the bank checks that and pays the builder and it happens back and forth and back and forth. So a lot of banks don't love construction, but they'll kind of do it because they have to. Macquarie Bank took a stance where they say, well, we'll do construction, but we're gonna charge some pretty hefty fees. So with Macquarie Bank, you're gonna look at paying about $1,500 in fees just to do a construction loan. Compared to say Commonwealth Bank, they only charge $75 per progress payment. So it's much, much cheaper. If you're doing five progress payments, it's obviously, you know, it's a third less than Macquarie Bank. So it's something just to keep in mind if you're looking at construction and also assuming you've got a 20% deposit, you know, whether or not Macquarie's gonna be fit is a question. And the last thing Macquarie aren't so good at is if you have a bad credit history, it's probably a no-go. So Jaden, what does that look like? Yeah, so like we covered before, Macquarie have really automated and have these amazing systems that just look at your credit report and can tell if you're gonna be a good risk in their eyes or a bad risk. And so equally, if you've had some late payments on your credit file, it's gonna show up. And if you've had a couple of issues in the past, your credit score is gonna be impaired. And so as a result, Macquarie Systems probably gonna look at you a bit more harshly than some other banks that have less automation there. So if you do have a bit of a checkered past, Macquarie Bank may not be the right fit for you. The good thing is you can kind of find out pretty easily by getting your comprehensive credit file or getting your credit report up front. Generally, they'll be pretty transparent and if your score is not looking good, they'll probably just say, better not apply here today. And two bonus tips here. Macquarie don't do any bridging or guarantor lending. So that's an absolute no-go for them as well. Yes, yeah, so if you're looking for this stuff, you're gonna have to look elsewhere, even if you've got your existing bank with Macquarie. Sorry guys, not gonna happen. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. So that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions, hit us up at huntergalloway.com.au. And as always, thanks for watching.